Well, this week we are in Casper, Wyoming. Yes. We're actually a couple thousand feet above Casper, Wyoming <laughs> yeah, right now. That's Casper. We're on um, Casper Mountain. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. We'll have to show you. <laughs> Well, we're, uh, came down the mountain. Yeah. And now we're at the Rotary Park. And supposedly there's a waterfall here. Yes. We haven't seen a waterfall in a while. No, it's been a minute. This last waterfall we saw. Um. Uh, Georgia? Georgia, somewhere in Georgia. Maybe, might have been Helen. Helen? Georgia. Well, these signs aren't helpful at all. No. I wasn't planning on hiking today. No. Feels like we're hiking though. It does feel like we're hiking. Hopefully it's not far. It's a 13 degree incline. Well, that doesn't tell us the distance. No, I, I just, <laughs> I'm telling you something. I hope it's not far, well it's 13 degree incline. <laughs> Thank you for that little tidbit. Well, as far as like how much of a hike it is, 13 degree incline. This looks like more than 13 degrees. <laughs> this is like 45. <laughs> this, yeah, this is definitely more than 13. <laughs> Lies. Lies. Well, we didn't really know what to expect here. Yeah. All we knew is that there was a waterfall. Yeah. I wasn't planning on doing any hiking. <laughs> but I feel like I've already done some hiking. <laughs> and And now, that we've seen the waterfall, which is amazing, by the way. Yes. There's signs that say that you could go up there. Yes, there's a man up there right now. Yeah. We have to go yep. up there. But you are gonna have to hike this mountain and cross over. Oh my God. So. But you have to. But you have? You have to yeah. do it. And we are. Whew. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. How's it going back there? It's steep. Yeah. I don't think, this is definitely not 13 degrees. <laughs> they, they even lied about the main trail, but this one is crazy. They even have like cables here. Yeah. For in case you miss a step, because I didn't know we were hiking. <laughs> so. Holy crap. I definitely didn't bring hiking shoes. <laughs> I, I, Pretty sure I'm not even in frame. <laughs> well, I don't know where to aim because I'm trying to hold on to the rope and not fall down the mountain. Not a good idea to uh, to film and climb this at the same time. Probably not. How you doing? I think we messed up. <laughs> I think we messed up. I was thinking like a uh, parking truck. Walk a few steps. Look at a waterfall. waterfall mm -hmm. Back to the truck. <laughs> we had just turned into a full-blown Brazen Brits hike. Yeah. I'm mountain climbing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can't wait to see over there. Get closer, yeah. yeah it looks like it's gonna be a long way to get over there though. <laughs> Cause this is all jaggedy. Yeah. So it seems like you're gonna have to go like way around. Yeah. And then once you get there. I think you have to make a decision. So to come down the other way. Do you come back this way or do you go back to the other trail that way? Yeah. All of which, I should say none of which, <laughs> are 13 degrees of incline. You know, when we woke up today, we didn't even know what we were going to do today. No. And I was like, oh, they got a waterfall. Let's go to the waterfall, I said. It'll be fun, I said. I like waterfall. I don't even think we're halfway yet. Probably. It's straight up. 
<laughs> well, this has to like zigzag up. Straight up. Yeah. Whew. And here's a kicker. I brought water today. But I thought, like I said earlier, I thought we were going a little trail. Photograph. See the thing. Go back to the truck. So guess where the water is? In the truck. It's in the truck. <laughs> Very far away from me. At um, more than a 13 degree decline <laughs> to get to it. Yeah. <sighs> Government lied. All right. I'm just going to power, power through. We're not going to stop talking anymore. We're going to power <laughs> through it, man. We're going to power through. And we're going to get to the top of the fall. Yeah. And it better be cool. <laughs> <laughs> we were defeated. Yeah. F E E T. <laughs> well, you just got the wrong foot here, man. Yeah. And we weren't prepared. I feel like going down is worse. Yeah. Because I spent so much energy going up. Yeah. And now it's so steep and you have to go so slow. Yeah. And then you're stepping down. Yeah. And you got like the newborn baby deer legs. <laughs> like like get a shaky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm just death gripping on the cables. Yeah. And using the posts. Yeah. And the steepest part of the thing. Yeah. They don't put rails. That's what's killing me. The most incline on this hike, and there's nothing to grab onto, not nothing. even trees. No. And let me show you something. That's the bottom of my shoes. There is zero <laughs> grip yeah. on these. Yeah. So, hey, ha. No. All right, get to the bottom of this crap. <laughs> Oh, salty now. It's been pretty hype though. Right? <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> we were up there. Yeah, we were at the top. Very tip top up there. And we were making our way down. To, go down. to the waterfall. Yeah. And it's just so steep. And with the foot gear we had. Yeah. And they don't have any rails up there. there. And it ran out of trees. Yeah, there's nothing yeah, to hang on to. Like you couldn't even hold on to go tree to tree to let yeah, so. Stuff. I was like, I don't, I don't want to see the waterfall that close up. No, I'm, I'm wearing white. <laughs> I, I'm pretty confident I would have butted and slid. That'd be the least of your problems. If you butt and slide too far, <laughs> your butt will slide right off the cliff. Yeah, well, yeah, but then I had a little clay dirt butt, and that would have bugged me. You've been laying at the bottom with double femur fractures and worried about your dirt on your pants. Yeah. You go to the <laughs> hospital all dirty. <laughs> Your mother always said you better be wearing clean underwear, clean everything. Well, I started the day with clean underwear, <laughs> but if I fall off that cliff, I can guarantee you my underwear will no longer be clean. It was fun. I, I mean, it was fun. It was fun. And we can get a little closer. Yeah, we're going to go to a different side. Yeah. So while we catch our breath, enjoy this beautiful B-roll. <laughs> Today we're exploring the Fort Casper. Casper. Yeah. I think it's pronounced the same. Is it? 
think it's pronounced the same, just spelled differently than the town. Mm. It's AR instead of ER. That depends. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> exactly. Casper, Caspar. Raton, Raton. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I found a graveyard. Surprise. And nobody's buried in it. That was the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> These headstones are just representations of some of the soldiers who served here and died here um, in 1865, was it? 63 or 65. 63. Yeah. And I just read the, uh, the marker of uh, Casper Collins, yeah. who the town is named after and who the museum is named yeah. after. and. I'm not sure why the spelling is different. Yeah, I'll have to research that. So, But it's interesting that they were buried here, but the army removed them. Because it was an Ohio um, cavalry, cavalry regiment. Yeah. And so they did die pretty close to here. Yeah. At one time, we're buried in this area, you know, probably just because you bury them and you move on, keep fighting. Yeah. And then figure it out later, which they did. Well, we learned some stuff. We're on our way down to the fort. Yeah. We learned that uh, you're right. I was very close of my thoughts. Yeah, so the reason that Casper the town is named differently, or spelled differently than Casper the, the person is because the general who named the fort after Casper Collins misspelled it. Typo. That was in 1865. Mm -hmm. The town wasn't founded until uh, 1890 so the town wasn't actually named after casper collins the river was named after casper collins and the town was named after, after the, the river, river and everything was spelled There's wrong along the way <laughs> so that's why casper is spelled with er instead of ar now they went back and when they rededicated the fort they went back and spelled it correctly Correct. yes in honor of lieutenant yes. casper collins and you know, when, when we were up there at the uh, grave marker off camera, after I turned it off, I was talking to you and I said, I wonder why they didn't name it Fort Collins because... And they, it didn't even dawn on no, us. No, they always used last names, not first names. Why yeah, would they use this for the whole name. Yeah, why would they use his first name? Then that's because there was already a Fort Collins and it was in Colorado. Duh, we were there. And the significance of that... <laughs> is that's Casper Collins' daddy. Yeah, Fort Collins <laughs> is named after Lieutenant Casper Collins' father. Yeah. So it's all kind of connected. Yeah. Very cool well, history. That was interesting. So this is Casper AR. <laughs> the town is Casper ER. And now you know why. He's probably rolling over in his grave <laughs> too over this like freaking, was it a captain or some lieutenant typed it up wrong? It was, it was the general was who a, signed the pro, the, the yeah. thing, but I'm lieutenant. sure. He said a lieutenant messed it up. It was probably his aide or something <laughs> that actually typed it up. And you know generals, they just sign stuff so yeah somebody screwed it up ripple effect now casper wyoming spelled with the er <laughs> god dang it so crazy let's go um explore the fort okay Each one of these uh, little cabins has a different purpose. And it's very yeah. cool. So we've seen like commissary, we've seen the blacksmith and some living of the living quarters. quarters. Well, this is the oh barracks. God. I'm guessing for the enlisted folks and then they get the dining facility back there. And we talked about why the name is different. We never talked about what the, why the fort's even here in the first place. No. Um, it's not strategy. No. It wasn't like a, a, a necessity for the army to be here strategically no. for the Civil War. Yeah. Its only purpose was is um, it was a river crossing at first, mm -hmm. and um, Tele the telegraph 
communications between yeah. California. Yeah, so this was a hub of where the telegraph you know, line ran through, yeah. and the Indians keep just kept destroying it. Yes. So what they did was they sent a small unit of Ohio cavalry, cavalry out here. To protect it. To protect it, and yeah. then it just kind of grew out here, yeah. and the fort got bigger and more troops came out here. Well, then the Ohio um, cavalry regiment got into it with the Indians, yeah. and then there was a battle. And that's where Casper Collins was killed. Well, this is the telegraph room. Yeah. This room was the, the whole purpose yeah. of the fort. If it wasn't for a, a geographical need to be here for the telegraph line, then no American soldiers would have been here. That's true. No fort would have ever been established. Yeah. Lieutenant Casper wouldn't have died here. Chain two, sir. It would have been named Fort Casper. River wouldn't have been named the Casper River and the town would not be named Casper, Wyoming. Wonder what it would have been. I don't know. <laughs> None of this happened. I don't know, I'm but interested. it's crazy. It is crazy. This room and this little piece of equipment has changed history. For Wyoming. It's pretty deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, back in the day, uh, the Platte River runs right through here, back here. Yeah. Back in the day, it was more than 300 yards wide. Three football Three fields football long. Fields, yeah. Well, wide. Wide. Yeah. Yeah, to get across. So, um, and this was a river crossing area. So, this was one of the shortest yeah. areas in the Platte River. Now they have a bunch of dams that control the flow of the Platte River. So, mm -hmm. uh, they used to have uh, like little ferries. They called them ferries. <laughs> they were basically little rafts that Pretty had much. ropes attached to them with pulley, pulley systems yeah. and they had one on one side and one on the other and you just pulley your way across you could put your wagon on there you could put a couple ahead of cattle probably but um yeah it was interesting it was like five dollars for a wagon yeah four dollars for every hundred head of cattle yeah that you were trying to get across and then uh they finally built a bridge this is a piece of a replica of what the bridge would look like right. yeah so eventually they did build a bridge all the way across so they didn't have to use a ferry anymore you could just drive or walk across Now we thought we should also mention some other significant things that the uh, Fort Casper yes. had. It was a Pony Express stop. Uh, yes. And the reason is because this is where the river crossing was. Mm -hmm. So this is where the Pony Express crossed the river. Yep. And this is also the Oregon oh, Trail across yes. the river. Starting in 1914, they have a little Oregon Trail placard out here and they have a placard out here for the Pony Express. Mm -hmm. So um, telegraph stuff. Pony Express, Express stuff, stuff, Oregon Trail stuff, Army stuff. All balled into one spot. Misspelled town stuff. <laughs> that was a very interesting place. Yes. Did you learn anything? Uh-huh. I learned some stuff too, but uh, i probably forget it by next week. you probably forget it by tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that's just one of the reasons we make these videos. That's right. And I forget stuff. I can go back and watch and be like, oh, that's why Casper's named Casper. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah, again. Again. I got Hi, it I'm again. Tom. <laughs> Hi, Tom. <laughs> Two second Tom. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, very cool place. Only four bucks to get in. Yeah. Not a ton to see in the museum. Most of the cool stuff's out here in the fort. Yeah. I, well, would I mean, say. It's, it's interesting Wyoming history in there. Yeah. I'd rather be outside, though. <laughs> Beautiful day. Gorgeous day. And uh, I guess that's it for. Uh, that's it for the Fort Casper. It's probably it for Casper. Probably, because we leave in like two days. Yeah, so that's it for Day Casper. Day and a half, really. Hope you enjoyed Casper, we did. <laughs> yeah. uh, on our terrible hike and then uh, tour of Fort Casper. The waterfall hike was fun, I had fun. I'm glad you had fun. <laughs>
But uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you wanna get involved with us helping veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.